Hi, good evening. I'm sorry we are not non-fiction. We are the strange people of <laughs> the <laughs> literature in translation that appears every second time. <laughs> and I'm going to read in Spanish just the beginning of a short story. We needed some short stories here uh, called La Respiración Cavernaria. La lista era parte de un plan. Lola sospechaba que su vida había sido demasiado larga, tan simple y liviana que ahora carecía del peso suficiente para desaparecer. Había concluido, al analizar la experiencia de algunos conocidos, que incluso en la vejez la muerte necesitaba de un golpe final, un empujón emocional o físico, y ella no podía darle a su cuerpo nada de eso. Quería morirse, pero todas las mañanas, inevitablemente, volvía a despertarse. Lo que sí podía hacer, en cambio, era organizar todo en esa dirección, aminorar su propia vida, reducir su espacio hasta eliminarlo por completo. De eso se trataba la lista, de eso y de mantenerse focalizada en lo importante. Recurría a ella cuando se dispersaba, cuando algo la alteraba o la distraía y olvidaba qué era lo que estaba haciendo. Era una lista breve. Clasificarlo todo, donar lo imprescindible, lo prescindible, embalar lo importante, concentrarse en la muerte. Si él se entromete, ignorarlo. La lista la ayudaba a lidiar con su cabeza, pero para el estado deplorable de su cuerpo, no había encontrado ninguna solución. Breath from the Depths. The list was part of a plan. Lola suspected that her life had been too long, so simple and light that now it lacked the weight needed to disappear. After studying the experiences of some acquaintances, she had concluded that even in old age, death needed a final push, an emotional nudge or a physical one. And she couldn't give that to her body. She wanted to die, but every morning, inevitably, she woke up again. What she could do, on the other hand, was arrange everything in that direction, attenuate her own life, reduce its space until she eliminated it completely. That's what the list was about, that and remaining focused on what was important. She turned to it when her attention wandered, when something upset or distracted her and she forgot what it was she was doing. It was a short list. Classify everything. Donate what is expendable. Wrap up what is important. Concentrate on death. If he meddles, ignore him. The list helped her deal with her head, but she'd found no solution for the deplorable state of her body. She could no longer bear more than five minutes on her feet, and it wasn't just the problems with her spine she was struggling with. Sometimes her breathing changed, and she needed to take in more air than normal. When that happened, she e inhaled as much as she could, then exhaled with a rough, deep sound so strange that she could never quite comprehend that it came from her. If she walked in the dark at night, from the bed to the bathroom and the bathroom to the bed, the sound was like an ancient being breathing on her neck. It was born in the depths of her lungs and came from an inexorable physical need. To mask it, Lola added a nostalgic whistle to the exhalation, a melody somewhere between bitter and resigned that had been taking root within her little by little. The list is what's important, she told herself every time the lethargy immobilized her. She couldn't care less about all the rest. <laughs> 